You think you know me. Hello everyone, welcome back to Ratchet Gladiator. Last week we saw the spectacular deaths of leading contestants Agent Bizarro, Plasma Woman and Orange Comet. Now the low-seeded Lombax known as Ratchet has surged to the top of the Dread Zone rankings. Frankly, I can't believe the little furball made it this far, Juanita. He is a scrappy sucker, huh, isn't he? He certainly is, Dallas. He's also a threat to children, endangered species and common decency. Well, kids and dolphins and whatnot will be able to breathe a little easier once Ratchet has been cut down to size by the Eviscerator in this week's Exterminator Smackdown! No opponent has survived even 60 seconds against his razor-sharp titanium blades. Hmm, I'll bet he doesn't have any trouble getting a close shave, Juanita. <laughs> you get it? Shut up, Dallas. You're not that funny. And in the last episode... We completed the entire Blind Turbo, just did all the challenges and the normal missions because it was just a bore and it was that quick. And today we are going to the Vindicator Tournament. Well, <laughs> since you asked, I have 16 terabits of tri-directional asynchronous bandwidth on my core CPU. Ooh, that is a lot of throughput. Oh, uh, well, I... <clears throat> hey, Clank. I, I will call you right back. Who was that? Oh, uh, nobody, really. Was that the tech droid you were talking about? Hey, did you get those blueprints? Y yes Oh, yeah, you the man! Uh, but I have learned that many other heroes are imprisoned at this facility. We must help them, Ratchet. Well, sure, but how? I have noticed that the security monitors tend to go inactive when there is a big arena matchup. So if I fight one of the exterminators in the arena, it'll buy you some time, huh? It is dangerous, but it is the only way. No sweat. Those guys are toast. Attention, contestants. Make sure to spend your Dread Zone credits on our fine lineup of reasonably priced Dread Zone weapons. After all, where else are you going to spend them? <laughs> Shut up. But yeah, here we go. Win the Gator tournament. Our third tournament. Do we have anything else to buy? We have the, the last weapon in the game. 2 million bolts. The Harbinger, which is essentially a Rhino. So yeah. Those are the three remaining weapons that we haven't bought. So all in all, not that many weapons in the game. Wrench upgrade, uh, time bomb. Yes, this is the mod that I always use for missile based weaponry, so that's really good. Uh, might as well. You never know when you need a wrench. Whew, he, he doesn't talk this time. But yeah, the time bomb mod, I always use it um, with the Arbiter because it's really good. And I will probably, oh, you'll probably see what it actually does. Also, my range for whatever reason is now on fire. Do you have any bot upgrades, Al? Where's Connie Gears? Oh, there she is. Can you try not to mix the motor control engines with the low res solar modules? They are very hard to distinguish. Whatever. Well, we got the Beta Ravager. It's a new super weapon, so no. And yet another big uh, bot upgrade, sure. And even more new colors. I will buy the gold star. Once uh, we beat Ice Heartlight. Those helmets we have, well, nothing different. Hmm. Oh yeah, the Beta Ravager is, um, it actually replaces the super weapon you already have. And considering how few times I've used it, I think I've used it a total of three times. It takes a while to charge and I just 
like the entire disco ball of death thingy. This thing does attacks uh, uh, more enemies, I even went there farther away. Um, but it just do as much damage. Your ranking appears to be that of a contestant twice your size. Yeah. Ah, reactor is actually still on the list, so that's good. And we are above a viscerator. So how is he exterminator and I'm not? Yeah, I'm a way above a viscerator. Let's look at those stats. Yeah, our battle to win loss ratio is still 14 and 6, it's not good. Hopefully we can do do a little bit better this time. Do we have any new Cheech a lot. Uh, Super Morphin Freeze French. Morph and freeze your enemies with the wrench. Uh, sure. And uh, yeah, Super bl Bloom. Ow, my eyes. Get rid of that. So now, whenever I hit an enemy table, the freeze will turn into an animal. What could possibly go wrong with that? Actually, I should turn that off, actually, but never mind. To the tournament! Due to what can only be described as miraculous luck, Ratchet has made it all the way to the Vindicator Tournament. But before he earns the rank of Vindicator, he'll have to survive the Battle Dome's deadliest challenges yet, and then take on the Eviscerator! It's time for the weapon cycling round. This time, Juanita and I will choose which weapons Ratchet can use from moment to moment. Are you ready, Juanita? So yeah, just like in Ratchet and Clank 3, this is a weapon cycle round. Each round you are given a different weapon to work with and you cannot change it. You can't even use your wrench. So you just get you are just using the weapon they give you. Also, I'm gonna go and cut them waste the cheats. Get rid of this because it's a stupid idea and it is actually like a proper cheat. Yeah, apparently you changed the weapon. No, you didn't. Because we are still on this round. Ah, my. The really good thing about this, uh, this mission is the fact that you get unlimited ammo and it's not like um, it's not like um, you ammo slowly refills no this is unlimited ammo so there you go lots of mines now we are fighting the mag using the magma gun we haven't actually used the magma gun for a while it's kind of good when we are back with the magma gun I'm going under you what are you going to do about it Oh, you can actually hit me while I'm under you. That's bullshit. Okay, what spawned in? Oh, just these guys. There we go. Oh, we go. Alright, here's the time bomb mod. It sticks on an enemy and then it goes boom. It does more damage than just a regular hit. And it also does a shock mod effect, effectively. So it does shock mod and a damage buff. So yeah to that. And it stuns. But it doesn't do direct damage at all. So it just like a time bomb, it takes time for the damage to actually uh, hit. Alright, I remember the last weapon. Actually do remember it. It's dual wipers. And I haven't done this for a while, so let's go back to the Azic mob because there's literally like no little guy left. So let's just do this. Also, whenever enemies are under acid, I think the accuracy decreases slightly. I'm not sure about that, but that could be a thing. And I'm pretty sure one hit kills me, so. There we go. Challenge completed. That 
That's our first Vindicator challenge. I think there's still one more to go and then we go to the boss. 101 kills. That's a lot. Team Darkstar must dodge a massive bomb drop from a fleet of dreadnoughts? What psycho stuff this challenge up? Eh, what's that? Reactor and shell shot? I didn't even know they were crabs. Say, did they use the car for? Hmm? Sorry? Alright, yes, let's go to the action! So yeah, yet another time challenge. We just have to survive for just a little over two minutes. And we have to keep running around because someone is dropping barrels on our head. Because someone thought that was um, challenging. And they actually do like proper damage. Normal barrels don't do any damage, these do. Just so stay out of the yellow um, circle. Get away from me. Alright, more big guys. Ow! He's off. I could use some um, health up, please. Piss off, William. Just Scorpion flail them to the face. And once again, as the time moves on, more and more explosives. And the more enemies you kill, more and more enemies. Because that is always fair, just have crap ton of enemies on you at all times. I could really use that level up right about now. Game, give the level up to me, please. Thanks a lot. I watch. The first enemy I kill gives me the level up. No, it didn't. Not even the second or third. Maybe that was really that far away. I oh, know it wasn't. It wasn't far away at all. I hate those snipers. Yeah, this round is just going nowhere, just killing me. Just killing me right now, because that was dreadful. I am not a fan of these guys, because they literally just... I can't see their shots at all. Viper, these little guys are annoying because my bots are. I really shouldn't have given them more weapons because they really don't do their job at all. Because they keep switching their weapon to the more sniper one. And I, the one that they, they really normally use, the pea shooter, is really good enough. This isn't. Also, oh, might as well just run around. Because I think the enemies are pretty much waved. They're not timed because normally I last uh, first time at this point these guys would uh, this would have been like second or third third of these big guys coming out now they're not here so save some time just save some oh nope they just keep spawning in never mind luckily the explosives actually do damage to them as well. Right. Last time we got the flying guys. This point and they really messed me up. Yeah, these flying guys, they gotta go piss themselves, pretty much. This creature is clearly much too dangerous to be set free. He must be destroyed. I consider this flying drone to be a bigger pro um, trouble than the big, the big sky. The one that copies me. I switch weapon because I don't think we got any of those uh, that big guy left. So let's just do some damage to get rid of this. Let them spiral out of control. See if I care. And finally survived. Third attempt. 
take to do this one challenge, so this is already five times more difficult than Planet Torvo. Welcome to the matchup of a lifetime, Dreadzone fans! Our challenger, known for his exploits in organized crime, his dabbling in the occult, and his hatred of sunshine, puppies, and chocolate, here's Ratchet! His opponent is a master of disembowelment and a fantastic chef. Ladies and gentlemen, the Abyssalator! Dallas, I predict this match is going to be very quick and very bloody. I almost feel sorry for little Ratchet. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't mean that, folks. Right, here we go. Here's the Abyssalator battle. Apparently no one has survived longer than 60 seconds against this guy. And all of those guys are weak, as I will prove. I'm just gonna start off by using my Arbiter because it's way underleveled. And yeah, it's this is the entire boss battle, it's not that bad. I mean, he uses the same laser attack as the Levi Leviathans, but yeah, that's not too bad. Let's use the mines. Mines could even have time bomb mode, but I honestly don't really see the point for it. Oh my god, that little pause when I land is going to be killing me. I can just already feel that. Yeah, this boss battle at start is once again just nothing. Oh my god, this does lots of damage. Alright, here comes the backup. Which I'm just going to be murdering with one shot. And here we go. I could even have like a proper acid mod if I wanted. So yeah, that's the Eviscerator's another attack. He can just fire rockets at me. If he wants, just fire random rockets at me. Although that laser is a little bit slower than the Leviathans, because that doesn't actually hit me. Also, he's done with them um, just wiping randomly. He's done with that. He's not doing that anymore. Ammo! Oh, Undermine. Undermine again. Guess we're going with the Undermine then. Stop with the rockets! Piss off! Piss off! Luckily they don't actually attack you. Or hit the... Um, Eviscerator doesn't actually attack you when they are on the scene. Which is nice! Nice chains for once. Okay, do we have anything? We have a little bit of Arbiter ammo. Might as well. While I go and just whack more ammo for me. Ah, even more Arbiter ammo. Miss. There we go. Now what? Well, now we're gonna be using oh, even more Hunter Mine. All right. I do not mind Hunter Mine. But yeah, compared to Shell Shock or even Reactor, this is not that bad, really. God damn. Yes, I am. Can you actually give me more ammo? That would be nice. Because I'm kind of running out of ammo and I just hope that not a random rocket comes down and kills me. I'm just kind of expecting that at, the, at this point. Yeah, also I'm pretty sure we've survived for longer than 60 seconds against this guy. Also, we are out of any good ammo. Oh, crap. So we got Magma Cannon, or P6, and Scorpion Flare, which is not something I'm not gonna be using, because fuck that. Nope. Never use weapon for the sake of using it. That never ends well. Oh. Oh, now they decide to actually attack me again, as well. Because he is cheap like that. Piss off. Just break everything, give me some health, even though it doesn't really help. 
Laser rock. That's all the ammo. What is the ammo situation? A little bit of after, and that's it. A little bit of tool viper. Tool viper first. I saw that rocket at the nick in, in the nick of time before it actually uh, landed or it exploded before me. Just barely saw that. Um, dual Viper. I'm gonna humiliate him. That killed him. The P6 player, the weapon that I've lacked of so much, killed him. Um, it might have been the acid. And there we go, we've officially became a Vindicator. And we are still undefeated against the Exterminators. Oh yeah. And we have unlocked two new planets. Planet Stygia and Planet Maraxas. The final two levels of the game. Make way for our new Vindicator! Hey Al, I got here as soon as I could. Silence! Can't you see I'm trying to concentrate? What are you doing? Clank, are you sure this is safe? It is an acceptable risk. Shh! I just need to close one more circuit. Al, oh, you're a genius! You did it! I know. No! Looks like somebody broke the rules. <laughs> Put it back on. You're <coughs> dead, Ace. Mm, that's good. I like that spirit. But save it for the arena. <laughs> this never should have happened. It's all my fault. No, Ratchet. Ace Hardlight did this. And Gleeman Vox gave the order. They made a mistake bringing us here, Clank. Now they're gonna pay for it. Exactly. Yeah, so Al got shot. And he's out. Just letting that sink in. Ah, uh, here we go. So we unlock two new planets once again. Appears to be that of a contestant twice your size. Oh, you don't have anything else to say. Yeah, Barrel Dawn record is now 17 and 8, which is actually, I think, a little bit worse than 14 6. Oops. And that leaves one guy at the top, and that's Ace Hardlight. And it's kind of obvious that's going to be our final boss, so yeah. Anyway, that does it for this episode. Before we go and move on to the next plan, we have some challenges to do. So, I'll see you next time.